Mm. Yeah, I remember being at the mall when I was eight and seeing Santa Claus relieve himself in the men's restroom. I was excited because we were going to see him that day, but I didn't want to disturb him as he was hardly in his element. I watched him though, his red suit and his white beard coming down his belly and his loud echoing belch bouncing off the walls. Ho, 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 kid, he said to me, zipping up his fluffy pants. I didn't say anything back. I just stood there and peed on my shoes. And he looked at me and shrugged his shoulders and walked out. Mm -hmm. that's, that's when I realized the most terrible thing I'd ever realized. Santa doesn't wash his hands after he uses the bathroom. I was horrified. I could see in my mind's eye the village of bacteria on Santa's hands, a kind of Tim Burton version of the North Pole, where all the contours are correct but the colors are off, there's grays for greens and blacks for blues, lots of coughing, and lots of mad cows. Hmm? I washed my hands and went and joined the family already in line to see Santa. And I watched as he picked up small children and set them on his knee. I watched as he patted their backs and heavens know their heads. And I asked my mom if I could skip meeting Santa. She said I could go across the aisle to ladies' underwear and sit there quietly on the floor, which is what I did. Sitting there quietly on the floor, pointing women toward lingerie I thought might fit them best. Trying not to think about the fact that Santa Claus, of all people, doesn't wash his hands after he uses the bathroom.